you've created effects in your favorite software. However, for this project, you won't use the computer to play them. Instead, you will use our SPI matrix in autoplay mode. One would think that we will limit you to our software. On the contrary, creative freedom is important and we realize that. Bundled with our mapping software, you can utilize a tool called Artnet Recorder. And yes, as the name suggests, it records Artnet from any third-party software and converts this to animation files for your SPI matrix. How this actually works. Make sure that you are broadcasting the data to your network since Unicast isn't supported. In order to record any data, you have to tell the tool what device it should record from. Here use search icon to detect devices on the network. Along with the IP address of the device, you will also be able to tell what universe is assigned to what output. Click on the universe icon to select what universes you want to record. Now below you can see the details. We are recording 28 universes and from one Let's 3 device, although we are using SPI matrix. In order to start recording, click on record. Select the folder where you want to save temporary files and your effects. Small preview in this window suggests that you are receiving Artnet data. In your software, you can change or select which effect you want to record and you can double check if the recorder is actually receiving any data in the preview. Once you are satisfied, hit start recording. Again, you can see a small preview, the total length of recorded effect and also its size. Once you are happy, hit stop. After recording, you can review the effect. Hit play and use handles to actually select what portion of the effect that you have recorded you want to keep. Once ready, click on OK and in your list you can see the first effect that you have recorded. Once ready, you can export the effect and upload it to an SD card. In the folder that you have selected, you can see the index of the device or the IP address along with the effect that you have actually recorded and exported. You can use the web configuration tool and upload the effect. To your device. Once uploaded, you can use the player function in the autoplay section of web configuration tool to actually check what you have recorded.